can be helpful for pain, appetite, sensation, mood, and sleep. CB1 releases endocannabinoids to the brain and nerves in the spinal cord. CB2 releases endocannabinoids to the extremities, digestive and immune system. It is a system with more cellular receptor sites than any other receptor system in the body. Neurotransmitter and signals travel through synapse from one neuron to the next until a message is propagated, but and the cannabinoids don't really follow rules. Imagine synapse as a backflow. The neuron that receives the same signal is the one that releases endocannabinoids, so those travel backwards. This leads to endocannabinoids influencing the sending neuron rather than the receiving neuron. The influence endocannabinoids do in the sending neuron is to slow down rates of neural signaling. For example, slowing down a signal of hearing could actually make hearing more intense, or slowing down a signal of senses could actually intensify them. The ECS also affects oviductal embryo transport, implantation, uterine desidualization, and placentation.